It's Alex Andrew Griffin here from Developers Boardroom with Simon Rubinson. We're at ICS headquarters. We we're just discussing off camera uh, the conference, 22nd of May, and a few of the things that we're going to be going into for the SME developers and investors who are attending. One of the questions I did ask you, with your small developer hat on, what do you think will be a good focal point for developers to consider over the next 12 to 18 months? Well, one of the things that I have seen, and it's partly with a small developer hat on, but it's also through my role with LNQ, where, where I oversee the, as a mm, non-exec, the, the development committee. So we're really looking at the opportunities for partnerships with, with um, some of the SME sector as well as sort of development. And we are speaking to some of your colleagues on Thursday Indeed, night. I believe yes. so. So one, one of the things that always strikes me about sort of the opportunity here is that you know, I sense that there is a desire to move beyond the very standardised vanilla product that you see on mm -hmm. so many of the big schemes, or certainly have done over the years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is something that is not just being led by sort of government, because I think if you look at a lot of the government statements in re over the last sort of few months, there's definitely a desire for them to see you know, more variety. And that mm -hmm. came out of, you know, even things like the Letwin review as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. But, you know, moving beyond that, you can see it very clearly in the way that customers approach opportunities to um, view schemes. They want schemes that have variety. They want schemes that have some sort of placemaking feel about them. So, so if there was a lesson that I ta I'm taking away from this and putting my small developer hat on, it is that you know variety is really the opportunity now. Look at the quality, look at the design, mm -hmm. look at the, the difference that you can make with what you're, what you're producing rather than that standardised product, which I think you know, there is a bit of a pushback against. And I think that's going to also be reflected not just in the desire to, uh, from potential customers, but also in the pricing that's associated with that. Mm -hmm. I think there is a premium mm -hmm. associated with a good quality, but also different type of product. Mm -hmm. And we discussed off camera also the idea of putting efforts into communal spaces and you know amenity area as well. That could be a differential. Absolutely, community spaces are really critical in that whole place making um, discussion. And something else we also discussed is that you know, for, as far as the SME sector is concerned, perhaps in the past the opportunity has been a little bit further up the sort of price point. But I think that given this real challenge that so many first-time buyers are having and when we talk about first-time buyers obviously we're not talking about no, the 20 no. somethings we're talking no. often about the 30 and the 40 somethings it's a real sort of new marketplace i think for the smes to consider because th these people are actually quite thoughtful by the time they're looking to buy their property mm. and they're no longer looking for a sort of very standardized sort of rabbit warren no, no. rabbit hutch i should no. say they want something that's a bit more imaginative wonderful thanks so